Woo! Bam! Yep, right there. That's me. How's it going, guys? Talking vaping. So today's juice review is from a company that if you've been watching my reviews on this company, I've done a few for them already. I've become a huge, huge fan of their company, the message that he's trying to get across. I finally had the honor of meeting the main man behind the scenes. Great, great human being, real down to earth, always loves talking about uh, vaping and immunity and how to better um, support and uh, advocate for vaping as a whole. Just a great, great human being at heart. Um, it was a total honor and pleasure for myself to finally get this chance. So I'm going to jump right into the flavor and the vape of it first, just to get that out of the way so you guys don't feel like you have to sit through oodles and oodles and oodles of me just sitting here doing this. So the flavor that I'm going to be working on is called Bunny. Yes, I really just... That's what it is. Um, company's called Average Joe's Juice. They are located out of Spokane, Washington. And it does come in this chubby gorilla bottle. It does come in a couple of other sizes. I will get to all of that information here in a second. As you can see, it does have um, a really beefy, solid security ring on this to make sure that it is basically um, tamper evident if it's been messed with at all. So in order to open it, you do have to put some pressure behind it. So we're going to pop this open. We're going to do a first vape on this. I will let you guys know what I think, and then we'll get into all the extra information about this as well. So it is going on a fresh wick. Um, as I always try to do for you folks, quick shout out to USV, the United Society of Vape, for making the USV L mod that I did a review on and that I use for my reviews. And as always, of course, cannot forget, have to shout out Texas Tough Cotton. Works really well for me. I just, it's convenient, um, real easy if you're especially in a hurry. It's just quick and fast. I like it because it doesn't have a whole lot of break in time, so you basically get to vape almost straight flavor right off the bat. Um, but that link will always be in the comment box as I like to add that in as well. So I'm going to pop this open and you guys get to see all, truly how weak I am. Go ahead and pop that. And I really, really, really wanted to try this flavor when I first saw it. I just keep forgetting to, to, to order some. These flavors are sent to me for purposes of review. This is uh, his version of a strawberry with vanilla custard and a layer of graham cracker. And if you know my flavor profile at all, you know that this pretty much is right up my alley. So we're going to definitely check this out and I will let you know what I think. Now I'm going to be curious if this is actually going to be a custard flavor or if it's going to come off more as... Um, and I hate to say it this way, but if it's going to come off more as like a cheesecake style with the graham cracker and everything else in that, it's basically kind of what it sounds like, but we will see. Hence the purpose of the vaping for your benefits. So regardless of whoever else is out there watching right now, um, if you are in the, if you are in the States, I did want to say a happy Labor Day to everybody. It is Labor Day today. Um, just a quick shout out. I have people constantly saying that to me all day, so I figured I'd say it to you guys. So do a quick pre-burn here. I'm going to go ahead and get this juiced up, and we will test this out. So, as always, vaping at 75 watts. And this is Fuck Bunny from Average Joe's. As you can see, the clouds on this are definitely rock solid. Um, this entire line is a Max VG line. It's just it's something that he prefers, so he likes providing that for everybody else as well. Max VG, for those of you that do not know, I know most of you do, but Max VG does not mean that it's 100% VG. It simply just means that for the mix ratio of this flavor to ensure flavor and clouds, that is the maximum amount of VG that will work before it starts altering the, the flavor of that. So I'm going to do a quick, uh, a quick second vape just to make sure that I did not miss out on anything in the flavor and that everything I did taste is what's supposed to be there so that I do not misinform you guys um, and miss out on anything that is supposed to be there, you know, throughout the vape. Wow, 
See? Clouds. Rock solid. Okay, flavor-wise, I'm actually happy to say that it is a strawberry custard. Um, and I only mean that because going by the definition, you know, people are going to see strawberries with vanilla custard and a layer of graham cracker, graham cracker, not graham crapper, um, but graham cracker. And as soon as they see that, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to assume it's going to be like a dessert, like a, a cheesecake style flavor. And it's not. Um, it is a custard. If you vaped any type of custard flavors before, you will know what that tastes like. And there is a difference. Um, the strawberry does hit right off the initial uh, vape as soon as it hits your tongue. It does smooth out very nicely with the custard, but it is a lighter uh, flavor so that it has a slight uh, hint of sweetness to that but it is really smooth. The graham cracker is going to be iffy with a lot of people, only because it's not a strong flavor to begin with. Um, if you overdo it too much, then it does come off in, in um, lack of better terms, it comes off in more of a negative way because it just, it, it'll seem a little harsh. So it is meant to be um, an accent or a, a little um, a boost to the tail end of the flavor. Depending on your sensitivity to flavors and depending on your flavor style, um, you may or may not pick it out all the time. You may never hit it. And if you don't, this would be a rock solid strawberry custard flavor, which is a favorite flavor of mine anyway. So whether or not you get it, I don't feel it's going to hurt the flavor. But if you are one of those people that tries to make sure that you get every nuance of flavor out of the vape, it, it, it might be a little bit of a... Of a uh, disheartening feel so to speak but as far as the main two flavors the strawberry and the custard definitely are both there one of the main reasons why i'm a huge fan of this company is that all of their flavors are rock solid that i've i reviewed and tried so far all the flavor profiles um 99 of the time is always definitely there for sure like i said graham cracker you can't i don't really count that as as a, a definitive um but all of their flavors have been on point Anytime I've ever vaped any of the flavors, they've not gunked up my coils, they've not messed up my cotton any any worse than other flavors. I don't feel like I'm re-wicking, you know, like every day. Um, flavor has always lasted. The cloud production is, is immense. Um, it's just, it, it is always consistent. It is always on point. It is always an enjoyable vape. Now, if you're a fan of the flavor or not, that's going to be a personal preference. In my opinion, me personally, that does not make or break a company. Not everybody is going to like every flavor that every company puts out. But overall, as a whole, this is a rock solid company. He is a down to earth man. You know, he's doing this to uh, to help better promote vaping and to help people have better options to uh, to vape, um, especially if it helps get, quit them off of, you know, cigarettes and other things like that. So just overall, it is a fabulous company. Um, definitely need to check them out if you have not yet. Uh, big, big advocator for uh vaping advocacy if you're in the spokane area definitely stop by and check out his shop um, you can order online from averagejoesjuice.com you can also get apparel as well they are part of the cks uh, chapters which is really really cool too that's a big honor to to be able to uh, put on their name um, but on their website all their flavors are available their apparel is available this is available in a 30 a 60 and a 120 mil bottle size um, they are in the Chubby Gorilla bottles, which is really convenient and really easy uh, to work with. They are available in a 0, 3, and a 6. And as you can tell, the labels, just like the name, there there's nothing super spectacular about them. That's not where his concern is, is focused on. It's what's in the bottle that, that matters to him more. But it does have the name. It does have the name of the flavor. It does have the bottle size and the nicotine level, all the warning and ingredients and their social media sites they're on facebook they're on instagram you can email them directly you can contact them off the website as well just a great overall company but they're real and i just that's a, that means a lot to me especially when um after meeting them that that it holds true as well so just a very enjoyable overall uh ability to be able to uh work work for with him so to speak and be able to promote this line as well so definitely check this out it's averagejoesjuice.com facebook instagram email and contact directly on the website but if you're looking for a rock solid line that isn't going to cost you an arm and a leg definitely give them a look as always guys i'm token vaping i'm here on youtube facebook instagram snapchat and pinterest anything that i myself can do to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you it's the only reason why i choose to do this so definitely reach out to me and let me know if you 
have any questions, comments, concerns, particular video that you'd like to see, I will do everything in my power to make that happen. But until next time, no matter what, always remember, morning, noon, night, regardless, truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good one, guys.